Okay, this is your crew chief. So listen up. So, let's go. I'm Jason. And I'm Catherine. I'm Michael. Why are you doing that? Huh? We got to play Mob Nation Racers early, and here's our early review on it. Comes out Tuesday. This is a kart racer, and it's with a PlayStation 3. There's also a PSP version. Look at my shirt. It's user-generated content again, so it's a lot like Little Big Planet. Sony's kind of picking up on that again, and they have that same kind of motto, play, create, share. I also have the same motto in my bedroom. Uh, which you can do with pretty much everything. Vehicles, people, tracks. You name it, you can do it, and someone can take your stuff and mod the heck out of it and then make something new out of it, which is super cool. So you can take your characters, and they're amazingly versatile. You can do their skin or their fabric, you can make them metally, you can make them rubbery. There are 315 mounts already that have been designed. There's like 260 eyes that have been designed so far. Mm -hmm. You hit randomize in it, it's insane. Mm -hmm. You can also make vehicles, and again, you start from scratch, start with this plain like go-kart looking body. You can make stickers, and you can put spikes on it, put a battery in as the motor. Cardboard wheels. Lawnmower motor. It can be crazy things. You can actually drive as a vagina in this game. Possibilities are endless. Then you can also make tracks, and there's certain themes, so it could be like the desert theme or the forest theme. So you can change different things, the lakes and the mountains and the houses and trees and animals, and you can put items in, speed boosts in, flame throwing traps, and you can set the time of day. So the game's really broken up into four major sections. Number one would be the actual racing in story mode. Three other things are the cars, the tracks, and your mod character, which is named Tag, because he tags his car with spray paint at the beginning of the game. I think you could change it. The game loads up, and you have a title screen, you hit the start button, and it starts to load, and you're like, okay, we're going into the game, but no, you're actually going into a visual menu and layout of this little map that shows you all sorts of things about the game, the creation station, top mods. We were lucky enough to see the very first top mods for the cars and the mods themselves. Super Mario, Luigi, Spider-Man character. Yeah. And the game's not even out yet. Yeah. There's already these, these creations. People really spent a lot of time making these characters and uploading them. In Diddy Kong Racing, you would start out and choose your level by actually driving to it. It's very similar to that. So the possibilities are endless in this game, really are. If and you If you want to put the time in to do this. And also you can choose to do as much or as little. If you want to take lots of time and like make very, very detailed, wonderful things, you can. Or if you're like, you know what, I just want to play, you just pick something random where you just go, this, 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 good enough. So in the creation mode, when you're creating a whole map, you have this option, it's called auto-populate. And what that does is puts a camera down on your track and you actually see the camera go along the track as it's putting up like houses and trees. See trees and growing up and, and clouds and, and uh, power-ups she... on the road. Yeah, all sorts of things. And then you so, can go in and edit particular things. Now I felt kind of lazy at that point. I was like, it's auto populated. I don't need to change things. But I can tell already a lot of people are going to spend so much time making crazy, crazy maps and cars and crazy, crazy characters. Now the one problem with this game that I felt is Sony was like, all right, we got a little big planet over here. It's amazing. Play, create, share. Mod Nation Racers is aiming to do the same thing. And the biggest problem here is, yes, the creation part of the game is spectacular. It's amazing and I have no issues with it. But the most important part of the game, which is the racing, seems to be flawed. It's ridiculous. When you make a racing game, you really should make sure that the racing's good. And make sure it's fun. And you know what? It's semi-fun, but like the camera, I feel it's like, like it's too close. The yeah. camera's awkward. Sometimes when you're in the air, it'll like screw you up and you land. And there's only three different weapons. You have your sonic attack, which has like the three different levels. Yeah. You have your missiles, again, three different levels of strength. And then you have your lightning strikes, and like, that's it. And then you have like a shield and your boosters, like that you can slowly gather throughout the level. So the left analog stick obviously controls the card. The problem with the game is, it's so, so, so touchy, you just go like that. It's almost like the cart is completely sideways. Jay just did, did a U-turn, actually. Very sensitive. If, if they tightened it up a bit, it almost would be like Mario Kart. <laughs> what, you like tight things? You never get them. He's laughing at the sensitive. And the question cubes from Mario Kart are in here, but they're the balls. So storylines, you're this guy, Tay, who wants to race. This guy who used to race back in the day. Takes you under his wing. And then your friend who owns a paint shop is also one in on the team. And it's, you know, you slowly getting famous, basically. Uh, apparently it was 
Hollywood writers who wrote this. The loading times are ridiculous. The loading's terrible. And when you put the disc in the PS3, you load the entire game on your hard drive, and there's still loading times issues. Yeah. There's no excuse for this. This is a very powerful console. It's not graphically as a demanding game, no. When you're in the create mode and you're actually creating your character, it looks spectacular, but when you bring them out on the track, they don't look as good as no. when you create. The lighting's them. not as good. And the textures kind of flicker when you're creating. You see the detail and then you add some eyes and it goes smooth and then back to the to texture. There's flaws. Oh yeah, there's flaws. Main issue here is here, it's great that you can create everything and you be so specific. The actual gameplay, this is a racing kart game, it's just not fun. It's not good enough. Get this game if you want to do detailed things like that, but don't get this game if you're looking for a good car racer. That's right. And as for multiplayer, we tried to go online, but it was like me and two people, and it's not as fun, and you're like waiting away because you need four people just to start a race. Mm -hmm. Just waited around, waited around. I imagine it's similar to Blur, but not as fun. Yeah, I'm sure when the game comes out, there will be more people and it might be a little bit more fun. But... Yeah, for sure. When it comes out, for sure. You know, I can't recommend this game. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Due to popular belief, I do not hate the PS3. I actually look forward to their exclusives. Popular belief, no one watches. That's a good point. Due to unknown belief, I give this game a 7 out of 10. I'd have to agree, 7 out of 10. The detail is really neat, but it's just not there. It's not a game that I'm gonna like come home and be like, yeah, let's play Moderation yeah, Racers. Yeah, take your shirt off, just so play excited. some games. Yeah, I love doing that. I love Little Big Planet so much, I was like, oh, it's Racing Plus Little Big Planet, yay! And it just wasn't that good. Please flip through more pages while I'm talking. Dick. When Burnout came out, I just went home, took my shirt off, put some mustard on my chest, and I played that baby. This one, I don't want to do that. Not worth it. I think that Sony really dropped the ball on this one and the development team got ahead of themselves and said, you know, we got something good here. Just because they ripped off a little big plan and thought they could put it into a Mario Kart ripoff, nah, it doesn't shoot for me. So I give it a seven. <laughs> and there you have it. You're here to hear for us, doesn't shoot for Jay. But he'll shoot for you. Stop cutting me off before I, didn't. I cut you like a goat. Do it. Bring it on, bitch. I put the knife over there. Okay, thank you.